What you've just seen is a, was kind of like a pilot for some new Instagram material I'm going to be making between now and the summer solstice. Check the link above to a video talking about why I'm making myself come up here every day to watch one of those. So if you follow us on Instagram, you'll get fed a piano, a composition, and a lovely sunrise every morning. But the piano book train must go on. We're recovering from music by 300 strangers. Let's head back to the shed and see what other really exciting news we have. I think what I find most exciting about our new platform, if you will, is it's a starting point where the community can take this entire project in the direction it wants to go. We're not limited by the parameters of a website basically designed by designers. This is designed by us composers and a fantastic team of people who have put the work in to grab the database, all of those fantastic pianos, and port them over to this website with a greater amount of functionality. I mean, the first thing you'll see here is we've got our own Music by 300 page. Now, just on that note, we're going to be adding to this so everyone's videos, everyone who has submitted will be included and credited on this page. Also, we've managed to pick up about 20 submissions that didn't make it in for the deadline or the Google bots didn't show us uh, them. Just on the subject of this very quickly, we are, this is not the end. We're going to take it on and create something bigger out of it. So watch this space. But back to the piano book site. Uh, we've got 225 instruments now. It's just absolutely incredible, including, I mean, I'll be getting to the this in a minute, but the number of submissions that we had for March are just phenomenal and some real treats in there. Key features to look out for, let's uh, just go full screen here. We can browse the different instrument types, loads of different uh, stuff, stringed instruments, found sounds, organs, you name it. And when you go to the actual pianos, these will obviously be the, be the biggest category, you can select by type, toy pianos, felt pianos, but also, I think a lot of you are going to find this really useful, contact EXS24, SFZ, and even the Sequential Profit. And when we have a look at the individual product or instrument pages, you can see that these are now a much more useful useful resource for us all. The description is there, demos, but also we can rate them, review them ourselves. So we can start creating a hierarchy of the pianos that we find most useful. The forum has been a casualty of the move. We had to lose that and basically start again. But this again is a much more uh, functional platform. I think a particular thread that I'm interested in is this one about how you guys are doing uh, during the lockdown. I'm going to be a lot more active on the forum now I've got time because I'm here, I'm not traveling. Indeed, there are already some great strategies in there for, for dealing with the lockdown. As always, information about how to submit your demos, how to contribute. And I guess what I'm really enjoying is stories, which is basically the blog, which is just a place to really keep an eye on for all sorts of fun stuff, including this new piano lockdown playlist, which has been made by Simon Fife. Absolutely stunning music that you guys are making. What's great also, fully searchable site. So I'm going to just show you the thing that I'm most excited about, which is something I can think we can really build from. If we look for Joshua, we'll see Joshua's hybrid. Uh, Joshua is one of the most, if not the most, profound contributor to Piano Book. But if we get, click on Joshua there, he now has his own dedicated page. Something that we really want to expand upon and obviously take your feedback from is, you know, to be able to promote you not only as composers, but as samplers. And here you'll see all the fabulous instruments that Joshua has contributed. So it really would be massively helpful if, if you all get active on the website, put in those ratings, what you feel about the pianos, but also give us some feedback. We're going to create a bug list, uh, an improvements list, and uh, we have people working on this every week now. So this is just the beginning of a fantastic new platform from which we're going to build something really exciting. Amazing effort by the Piano Book volunteers getting that site up and running in time for Piano Day, a mere year from when we launched the original Squarespace-based site. But 
it's not just the site and all of the work that's gone into that that is just astonishing in the last month. It is also the amazing new selection of instruments that you have created for your fellow composers. It was a vintage month, as they all seem to be these days. I'm just going to go through some of these. Some, I think, have the most incredible stories attached. This is the Angelic Dubrow from Berend Holtland. For a long time, I've wanted to sample my Dubrow, especially playing it one octave higher. This makes it quite useful film music since it sounds less country-ish. I hope it makes a second version one day with better mics and a better room and more samples. So stay tuned for that. That we will indeed. Very beautiful atmosphere. I can just put some splosh on. As always with these things, we like to hear it down. I love instruments which aren't immediately associable with what they are. Is that a, a guitar? Is it a harp? I think that that sounds magic. And I know the experiment was to, to make it higher, but I do quite enjoy using your high strings to give us a low signal. Sol's piano. Sol Berkowitz was my theory and orchestration teacher at college. He also gave me free piano lessons and composition lessons, and I remained close to him right up until he passed on in 2006. This piano was at his home in Queens, New York. He owned it for over 50 years and played often as a young adult. You can see the three people who have reviewed it already have given it five out of five, and there's a great story behind it here. I think what I enjoy about this piano is it's a, it's a welcome, bright piano, but again, it's the romance of playing you playing something in New York and the story behind it. It's going to be really useful to cut through slightly denser tracks, great for pop stuff, but also as we approach creating this music library, the versatility and the variety of the piano book catalogue is going to become really helpful. Not everyone always wants those very kind of mellow felts and stuff like that, so I really welcome this contribution. I really like these. There's something... You know, sounds don't always have to be complex and there's something just so humble, intimate, slightly meek about these samples. Uh, this small 19th century Viennese Etzenberger guitar had been sitting on an old chair at my granddad's house for ages. It had a set of seal strings on, whose excessive tension over the years had ended up tearing the bridge off the soundboard. Feeling sorry for its broken and grubby shape last summer, I endeavoured to restore the guitar to a playable state. So I glued the bridge back on, gave the soundboard a fresh lacquering, and finally mounted a soft set of Nyglut strings, which emulate the timbre and feel of gut strings. I sampled artificial harmonics across the entire range of the fretboard in three dynamic layers, using a pair of Rode NT5s. Thanks again, Ricardo Paracci, for that. And remember, Ricardo, there's the opportunity to really create a, a user profile that we can all find really interesting. And as you contribute more to Piano Book, then we'll be able to locate the stuff that you're working on. Next up, John Meyer, and he's so much better at explaining these than me. Hello, my name is John Meyer, and I'm back with another video about sampling a piano. If this is your first time here, or you've been around for a while, if you would, please consider subscribing. That'll help me out, and you'll be notified when new samples and new videos are available. The response to the samples that I've made has been absolutely incredible. Recently, with my Kawhi Felt Piano, the Bedroom Producers blog wrote a little story about it and shared it. And that was picked up by other blogs all over the world. And because of that, thousands of people have downloaded the sounds from my site. 
and also piano book. Many of you have found your way over here from there and you've downloaded it from that side. I knew that once I sampled the piano in my studio, the next obvious step would be to sample the Steinway at MediaTek Institute. And I can report an absolute corker. I'm homeschooling at the moment, and as a consequence, my keys are inexplicably sticking together, sugary kids' fingers. So rich. And another one of our YouTube stars of the future is Dan, who has created yet another sensational video explaining the King's Upright. This piano is not one that I tend to play very often, but it's always had a really strong feeling of kind of drama about it. I don't know why. It's very soft. Uh, I think it was from about the... I think it was from about 1896 or something, so it's a really old piano. And, of course, the issue with old pianos is that they don't tend to play very very reliably. Um, so I found that the upper mid-range sounds great. Top, top range sounds fine. Bottom range is a little bit weird. Uh, the tuning kind of goes all over the place. So I've created a contact instrument, and I thought I would kind of walk through the process. probably tell I could be here all day and this uh, mod wheel okay so we can do that with this it does just kind of go on forever stunning next one I think is incredibly romantic. Spitfire Audio hosted an incredible event in London this past February, which gave me the opportunity to both see the city for the first time and to meet some of the incredible members of the Piano Book community. So who's th this is by Kellen, our good friend Kellen. After the festivities has ended, a few of us composers went out for dinner where we had a brilliant idea to sample an upright piano we had passed in the King's Cross Underground Station the day before. The intonation was deplorable and at least five keys flat out didn't work, but close your eyes whilst playing Playing and you're practically teleported to the station. Thank you so much for doing this, Kellen, and what a great idea. I don't know who joined in. Do I recognise any fingers there? Just love it. Platform 88, King's Cross plays host to also Platform 13 and a third, whatever the Harry Potter one is. Interestingly, the Harry Potter films are not filmed in King's Cross Station, they're filmed in St Pancras, which is next door. Skimmer Metal is next. Ah, there's a very particular reason why I went for this one. It was the day before Christmas and the guy selling it wouldn't ship it, so I jumped in the car and drove for eight hours straight just to secure the purchase of this instrument. And even though it was kind of rough around the edges, it was still that much of a bargain. Master and Vibraphone recorded using Townsend L22s in the studio with two round robins by Anders Wall, who has contributed stuff before, so do make sure you update your profile, Anders. It's just, it's a great sound. But if we put the King's Cross piano on with it, we'll hear there's a delay, and I'm absolutely certain there's a step has been missed here, Anders. Hope you don't mind me reviewing your homework. So if we go, whoops, it group, take all of them. I wonder if this is just going to feel a bit better. It seems to be pretty uniform across the... If we go like that, should we see if that feels a bit better to all selected zones? Thank you. 
I played it safe. It's still a little bit laggy. Just could put some verb on it. See, what I love, I think we're so frightened of rooms, but I actually love the sound of your room. It's really small. And then when you put reverb on, I just think there's something so lovely about putting our normal hall verbs on something that has a really good amount of room on it. Just It just gives such a 3D-ness to the sound. Turn that reverb up a bit. So really, unless you've got a really horrible sounding room, do embrace that. These are incredibly haunting, and I actually haven't read this page yet, so I'm, I'm loving the Dutch angle there as well. After the buzz of making my first instrument, this is by Ash Vergy, uh, my singing radiator, which was a, a bit of a hit with me, I thought it might be cool to make a choir from the students who go to the school at St Helens in Oxfordshire, where I work. Recorded it one lunchtime in our beautiful school chapel with the intention of doing ums, oohs, ahs. of reverb on that it's just absolutely stunning and please thank your students um speak i think on behalf of all of us this is such a beautiful gift there's something so incredibly in a really beautiful way quite haunting about this me sometimes all this stuff so i just can't believe how generous people are and how inspiring it's just there's uh it you just have to understand what it was like when i started composing music which just, just didn't have this kind of stuff and I'm, I'm just really moved to tears by it. i really am okay <laughs> put your socks up henson vax rx7 this is what it's all about i love the fact that we create these beautiful sounds and we create beautiful music and we touch people with our music but also just like our man on his lawnmower with MB300S we find beauty in ordinary things so I looked around the house to see what I could sample says Keith that I could get a tuned instrument from I remember the rusty gate contest and how people managed to get beautiful pads from harsh sound so found my target my handheld Vax car hoover laugh out loud I sampled the sound and then put it into RX-7 elements and messed around with it. So it does what it says on the GUI. What? Absolutely beautiful. I think what I'm going to do, no surprises here, is do the old apple pitch. The reason I like this, it's a bit crab, but in a good way. And so what I'm going to do is just create that kind of octavy effect, but you'll get these artifacts. And I love a bit of granularity, particularly on something as, as pure as this. Let's, call, let's, let's do another, another octave. You hear the stuff? Let's actually make it even more granular. Maybe put, because when it's tighter, it's less smooth. You 
hear it will glitch whilst you play it. If you bounce offline, uh, those glitches won't appear. Finally, again, this looks very piano book to me. From Jack McKenzie, a condensed version of my final undergraduate degree project. Ethanolia is the sounds captured from a singing and bowing of gin bowls, wine glasses and champagne flutes. I sampled this using a three mic setup, Human U87, a DPA 4036 and a KM187, which I then processed through an amazing even tied Eclipse version 4 harmonizer using settings such as Rainbow Drops and Diamond Rain. Let's have a listen to this. Whilst we're showcasing these amazing compositions on Instagram, linked below, please follow us. I think it's well worth pointing out that when people put up new instruments, often they don't have demos, which means that people can't hear what the instruments sound like in order to download them. So linked below is a guide to how to contribute to the demos if sampling isn't your bag. And do remember that there are absolute kind of AAA listers who are listening to the demos as a means of selecting which instruments they download. What's more, I am currently in negotiations with a library music company about creating an entire catalogue for them. This is something I think could be really excited about. The lockdown period we're living in, we can get to work on creating some all-important portfolio for ourselves. Talking of which, John Meyer has started an amazing new series. You know that I like to sample things, and then I like to make videos about sampling things. And I haven't talked a whole lot about my main gig, which is as a media composer. Primarily, when I say media composer, I am a production music library composer. And specifically, I oversee, I'm the executive producer, main composer, one of those things, of a catalog called Merge Music, and it's uh, part of Atomica Music Library. They're the publishers and the owners of the material. When I set out to sample uh, a new sound and then make a video for it, in my mind, it, I, it doesn't click that it's gonna take like 40 hours, but it always does. Although I love doing it, that's not really sustainable in the long term. So I wanted to find a way to kind of combine all these worlds together. I love making films, I love making music, and I love making samples. So what I want to do is take you on the journey of creating a production music album. Thanks so much, John. And I'll be joining you on a couple of little courses that I'm going to create, both for Piano Book and for the Spitfire Audio site. So I'll let you know of those here. Do subscribe. Dan Keane's also got a great idea up his sleeve too. I'm in a bit of a weird situation at the moment because, you know, I plan to get out of the house and record various instruments or players or sounds for this piano book submission adventure that I'm on at the moment. And I've been really enjoying submitting over the last few months to pianobook.co.uk, whose new website looks absolutely great. And because I don't have many instruments to sample right now, and because some people maybe have the ability to record a couple of notes or whatever, but don't necessarily have uh, the, the ability yet to put together a full sample instrument, I wondered whether we could marry these two issues together and create a little bit of a challenge. Thanks to these amazing YouTubers. Could I make a humble request that if you view this content, please subscribe to their channels. There are all sorts of YouTube benefits that you're not privy to when you're below a certain number of subscribers, things like monetization, but uh, countless other features. And by subscribing, you support, and by support, you encourage and nurture these amazing resources that are being created for all of us. So please, I do urge you not only to link to these videos below, but also to subscribe to their channels and to like. So do update your profiles and do have a wander around the site, have a rummage around and put your ratings up there. And within weeks, we're going to have something that's just an incredible resource for us all. So head on over to pianobook.co.uk, one of the most amazing it's just a, a, a community with at its centre a generous heart of gold. Let's make the forum a vibrant place where we can support each other, but also keep those samples coming, keep those demos coming. Thanks, as always, for all of your hard work, for your support on this 
incredible adventure. And do subscribe if you haven't done already. It'd be churlish not to. Ding the bell for notifications the next time I put a video up. And one of those for the incredible efforts of the team that created that new website. It's just the beginning. Lots of exciting features coming your way soon. See you next time for another one of them.